I'm tired of it. Can we get our neighborhood together? Can we as one step up to be a whole? Darius Williams was just 20 years old and had just started a new job at a restaurant. 32-year-old Will Stevenson was a father of four. And late Wednesday night inside Stevenson's east side home, loved ones believe they were the two men possibly forced to lay down on the living room floor and shot. The home was then set on fire. Karima lost her boyfriend, Will, and her cousin, Darius. The two men were friends. If anybody know anything, please speak up and let us know what's going on. This is terrible. I'm tired of this. This this is the second time. She says the second time because just a couple of years ago, we're told someone shot Will Stevenson in the same home. It was a robbery, and he survived, but not this time. He was just basically trying to turn his life around and raise his kids. That's what he wanted to do, get in his kids' life and raise his kids. My cousin Darius, he changed, you know, he just got a job, and he was a quiet person. He didn't bother anybody. He was family-oriented. He was close to his mother. He was close to us. He was a loving, caring person. The killings happen inside Will Stevenson's east side home on Mayfield at Chalmers, and loved ones are hoping someone, anyone with information, will call police or Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP. I would like for someone, if they have any information, to come forward. Please, we would like it because we, we're grieving and we need closure. On Detroit's east side, Kimberly Craig, Channel 7 Action News.